Good morning everybody, Mark Belford, Hit Chef Academy. Hope you are well, hope you're all keeping safe. Um, as you can see, it's just me today, I'm afraid. And today I'm gonna to be doing a vegan soda bread. Now, one thing I found doing my weekly shop, trying to abide by social distancing, minimizing my trips, only doing vital ones, is I'll get about four or five days in and I'm running low on just one or two items that I don't necessarily wanna pop out and go and get. So bread being one of them. Now, soda bread, is one of those ones that dispels all the mist that bread can take absolutely forever. You can knock this up in under an hour. It's an absolutely fantastic thing to do and you can do it pretty much from your store cupboard with what you've got. And you will end up with something as delicious as this. Doesn't it look pretty? Okay, so the ingredients today are 125 grams of wholemeal flour, 125 grams of plain flour. Now, if you don't have wholemeal flour or you don't have plain flour, as long as you make up that 250 grams, you can do it in whatever mix you like, okay? I've got half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. I have got half a teaspoon of salt. And I've got 210 mils of buttermilk. Now, I'm gonna dispel a couple of myths here straight away. So, the buttermilk, I don't specifically have any buttermilk in. Um, I normally get it in if I'm marinating chicken and stuff like that. So what I've done, using soya milk, because this is a vegan recipe, I have 200 mils of soya milk and 15 mils of vinegar, so about a tablespoon of vinegar. And if you leave that, mix that, and leave that for about an hour, you'll end up with this stuff here which is a vegan buttermilk, all right? Um, the beautiful thing about this dish is it's one of those, what we call a nose to tail dish where we can use up lots of things otherwise that will go to waste. Now, traditionally, this recipe used sour milk um, and it was just to use up a byproduct that otherwise would have been thrown away to create something very delicious, something very nutritious. So there's a little bit of food history to this dish. The other thing I like about this dish, um, you can get a bit Willy Wonka and it's a bit science as well, uh, something good for the kids. So as you can tell from the recipe that I gave out, there are no raising agents per se. There's no self-raising flowers and there's no yeast. So the bicarbonate of soda and the vinegar are your raising agent, okay? When those two things mix, they create carbon dioxide pockets and when they go into the oven, those pockets will expand and that is your raising agent. And if you've ever done a bottle rocket in the garden, you'll know exactly where I'm coming from. But just for a little visual, got some bicarb here and some vinegar here. And that's what happens to your bread, okay? I'm glad that didn't spill everywhere. That would have been a nightmare. I'll put the lid on that and get that out of the way. Um, so there's a little bit of science for the kids as well. So this is a really nice one for them to do. Incredibly simple, a one bowl wonder, because I'm all about that. I don't like mess. I don't like cleaning up if I can help it, okay? So I've weighed out all my dried ingredients and I've got them in here. And I'm just using a normal table knife. And I'll just mix them all together to make sure that they're all dispersed evenly. I've also got some porridge oats um, and I'll sprinkle those over the top and that's just for a little bit of crunch, a little bit of effect. If you don't have them, don't worry about it, okay? So I've got my buttermilk here and I'm just gonna pour this in. And I'm just gonna bring that all together. Now this is a bread you don't need to knead. It comes together relatively quickly if it looks a little bit sticky, then just add a little bit of a touch of flour. Not a lot, because you can mix this all in the bowl, turn it out onto your baking sheet and bake it. So as you get all your ingredients ready, I suggest you preheat your oven to 200 degrees. And as with all of our videos here at HIT Training, the method and the ingredients will pop up along the edges on going up. There we go. I can see that's just a little bit wet. So I'm gonna just add, add just one tablespoon of flour just to take the edge off of that. And 
And now that I've formed my rudimentary dough, I'm just going to get my hands in there. Hands washed effectively, a good 20 second wash as per government guidelines. Et voilà. Now turn your dough out onto a lined tray. All right, I've used this paper before, but it's absolutely fine to reuse again. Just push it down. If it's too domed, you'll find that it won't cook all the way through. And you're gonna to have to cook this for about 40 minutes. And then you'll want that nice hollow sound that bread makes when it's cooked and we know it's cooked. Okay, so tradition, and again, this divides a lot of opinion. Um, tradition is you cut across into it. Um, I personally think it's from a portion com control point of view that you can just snap it off when it's baked and you can all help yourselves. Tradition also states, apparently it lets the devil out. Um, as is just a traditional folklore thing. Um, another one is, is to bless the bread as well. So again, it's got a lot of nice connective history to the dish. We form a cross on the bread. I sprinkle with a few porridge oats. I've got a few in the cupboard. If I didn't, it wouldn't be the end of the world. You could use a few seeds as well. If you had sesame seeds, linseeds, whatever, you could use those as well. That goes into the oven at 200 degrees to bake for again 40 minutes. It should look something like this. It should sound something like that. And when you break it, it should look something like that, which is absolutely superb. And that is going to be my 11 G's for today. Okay, so I've got a wonderful fresh loaf of bread that's taken me 45 minutes from start to finish, which I don't think is a bad little effort. Okay, enjoy this recipe. Um, again, if you want to make it non-vegan, just use milk and that acid ratio that I gave you earlier, and you'll have a wonderful, wonderful dish. From everybody at Hit Chef Academy and Hit Training, please stay safe and look forward to doing another video for you. Thank you.